Hey everyone, welcome to Science Space Fitness. Today's topic, we're talking about the best chest exercises, the top five. This is part of a bigger series where I'm trying to tackle each of the best exercises for each muscle group. So if you are not subscribed and you find value in this video, consider subscribing and don't miss the rest of this content. With that being said, let's jump right into this. <laughs> Now this is slightly subjective, but I am trying to base this on some evidence and some data. I will source in the description the studies that looked at EMG data across pec activation. One thing I do want to discuss here is that we need to make sure we're matching intensity and volume for each exercise. So if I gave you an example of, let's say you can max out at 10 reps on a push-up, and then I gave you, let's say 100% intensity of 30 reps on a chest press, those won't be equal volume. The intensity, of course, will be the same, but the volume we need to make sure we're equaling out. So if you can hit 10 reps on a push-up at 100% intensity, that equal amount of volume and intensity for a chest press would be 10 reps at 100% intensity. So we need to make sure that's matched. So these rankings are based on EMG data. So what that means is there's electrodes that are placed onto muscles that measure the amplitude of muscle contraction. Now, EMG data is not everything, but it's a good measurement and a good benchmark on exercises that we should be mixing in. As long as you're mixing in exercises that work on proper volume and, and intensity and load and everything, then we should see gains across the board. So let's jump right into the rankings, starting with number five. Exercise number five, dumbbell flies. Flies can be a good exercise, but the problem with a movement like this is that the amount of tension we're actually experiencing gets reduced at the top of this movement. It is a good movement, but we are also more susceptible to injuries in a position on a bench like this, although there's no reason why you can't do it on the floor, but it does show quality EMG activation, and we will see another variation of this on this list. So let's jump into the next one. Exercise number four, machine press. There's gonna be a lot of variations depending on what type of machine you're using. Gym to gym is usually a little bit different. One of the biggest benefits of a machine press is that you can load this exercise and not worry about balance. It is a great place to start, especially for beginners. Exercise number three, dumbbell chest press. Now, I like this exercise because it adds in the stability factor, but for growth, sometimes that can be a limiting factor. If you're someone that really struggles with your left and right balance, then you might not experience as much hypertrophy. Another limiting factor to an exercise like this is getting the weights up. If you have what I show on screen here, one of these style of racks, that would be amazing. That's an ideal situation, not everyone has those. It'll take some time to figure out proper technique to getting the weights up. Now exercise number two, I'm gonna combine two exercises. Now this is going to be a cable crossover and a pec deck fly. Now, these are similar movements depending on the type of machine you have. This movement's great for muscle contraction, but also allows us to keep tension all the way to the end of the range of motion, which was one of the limiting factors on the dumbbell fly. This is a great movement that everyone should be mixing in. Exercise number one, the exercise all of these were compared to, was the flat bench press. I think this is a great reason on why we still mix this in and why it's a staple of so many people's workouts. It is super effective. It does a good job at trying to control those muscles. So this really should be a staple of everyone's workouts, but if it's not, that's fine if you mix in these other exercises. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed and found value in this video, consider subscribing. Make sure you stay up to date on each of my videos on the best exercises for each major muscle, and we'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.